Hello, this is Mike from PageForce.com and I want to show off a little feature we recently implemented and, uh, and added to our uh, pf.py, the application uploader. And so if you get the latest version of that, you'll have this capability in here. So um, when you build a web application, a lot of times you have a whole bunch of static resources that uh, you know, your web files that are in your app, they don't change very often and you'd like those to be cached in the browser and, and also be able to be used for offline uses. So uh, to do that, you can create this thing called an application cache. So let me just demonstrate what, what the app looks like without the application cache here. I'm going to refresh the browser and you'll notice that even though I, I have used this app recently, it is doing a bunch of round trips that do take non-trivial amount of time and made a few hundreds of milliseconds to round trip to the server um, just for the server to say you know what that file hasn't changed yet uh, it does use the uh, there's an e-tag header that goes up along with the request from the client and since it hasn't changed on the server it just returns a 304 status code which says it hasn't changed so you can it's safe to use your cache um, so but that round trip happens every time and, and uh, your, uh, you know, this will delay your app starting up a little bit. So, uh, what we will do here is I'll show you a, a, a new feature of the pf.py program here. And if you say pf offline, this creates what's called an app manifest file. And uh, to use this file, you'll need to put one line in your index.html that uh, says that you're using a manifest called app.manifest. And there's, there's more links into it in this, uh, this dive to, into html5.org slash offline.html has a really good explanation of how this all works. But PageForce created this app.manifest file automatically, which includes at the top of the file, you'll see a bunch of the assets that are standard with the client uh, library that you'll be using. And then at the bottom, it has all of your application-specific files. So these are all the things in your application directory. And not only does it list all of these files, but you can also it also takes a hash of all the content that you're being uploading. You're uploading as well. So if you ever change any single byte of your file, then the cache will be automatically updated. So um, and that's an important point. So whenever I say pf put. Um, it will write the manifest file up there, and if I change the file, it would rewrite the manifest file and upload it again. And I'll show you a little bit why that's important. So let's first, just, uh, now that we've updated the app, let's just refresh it. Now you'll notice here, the same thing happened as before uh, for the download. So on the fir very first download, it, um, it still is using the 304, it's still doing a round trip to the server but in the background, it was saying, oh, you, I have a manifest file here, and I'm going to download all 20 files out of that manifest. And uh, so now the application files exist in an application cache locally. So the very next time I refresh the app, now you'll notice that all of these things come from the cache. So it, it basically forces all these app files into the browser cache, and those won't come out until the cache manifest file itself changes. So every time you run this app, it's going to run from cache. And then while your app is running, the browser will do a quick check of the manifest file to see if anything's changed. If it hasn't, it'll just leave the cache alone. And uh, your app will start up. So you see on this, this application, the only thing I'm loading is a Google Analytics JavaScript file. Actually, that's, that's just doing one round trip, to, which took 14 milliseconds. That's really fast. And uh, then it did a, a Google Analytics uh, image GIF to, to track uh, users on the page. So anyway, much faster application. So um, I think you'll enjoy using this approach as uh, it, makes, it makes it a lot easier than managing the, the cache manifest file yourself. So enjoy using that, and now uh, we will uh, talk to you later.